Okay, today. Is it recording? It's recording. She talks first. Okay. Fine, but you need to relax, and I'm so cramped because of this framing. I'm just saying. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Uh, welcome to the Duper Table today. Today we are excited because we have a special guest, Ray who usually helps us with camera, is going to be on camera today, showing us his amazing uh, dumpling game, because he has yes. an amazing uh, dumpling recipe. So, so we're making pork dumplings today. So in here we put two pounds of pork. There's three tablespoons of chopped, finely chopped ginger, three finely chopped cloves of garlic, one carrot finely chopped, two eggs, one no. quarter of a head of cabbage and then and then six or seven scallions and you use from the white to the to, to the, the light green yeah. part and you again chop that real finely and and you want to save the dark green because you can put that into it. that's what we have sauce. here so i add all those ingredients and then three teaspoons of rice vinegar and then soy sauce you can use regular soy sauce or tamari if you're gluten free we did three tablespoons yeah. of, of one of these and then we did three teaspoons three teaspoon of sesame oil so I'm gonna mix this all together so you guys can see. Oh, it smells great. Doesn't it? And so this, this'll make like 500, no, not 500, maybe like 200 dumplings. Will it really? Yeah. Huh. You, you inherited your stepmom's math skills. Okay. <laughs> and then we're gonna use these wrappers. And so yeah. these are- I thought you didn't like to touch me. I don't, but this mm. smells good. So you can see how everything's finely, finely diced. Looks great, smells awesome. So then you're gonna fill those into uh, these, right? Yeah. We've defrosted these. These are dumpling wrappers. Um, and and these are flour, right? Yeah, so these are flour, but you can get wonton wrappers, rice wrappers. Um, we've done both. Yeah. I like these steamed. You can do, we did pan fried yeah. and we've steamed these. I like these steamed because I feel like the consistency is better. Yeah, so you can make all of the dumplings and then freeze um, the ones that you don't need. Okay. Let's make some dumplings. I'll you help you. get some of this stuff out of the way? And yeah. then we also have to make the sauce for after. Yeah. So we make sure we record it this time. This is actually the second time. We had already, we had done a beautiful video, but dad forgot to hit record. Wow. And thank God it was him and not one of us. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Gray is going to show me how to make these so pretty. You take one in your hand, yeah, you and you have a bowl of a little bit of this cold is water. water. to because it's used as glue. So you want to take a chunking. I kind of like to put it up against the wall so it is oh, okay. flat. So flat. So like about that. this much, and then like that. Yeah, and then you use your finger to get the the side <laughs> wedges a little bit. All the way around? All the way around. That's what I do with pasta too. Okay, and then you so then you seal it? Yeah, you seal it. So you make a half moon. Okay, so it looks like that. Yeah. And then... Um, and then how do you make it pretty? Like you... Yeah, so I, I use a little bit more water. Okay. And then go along the outside. Okay. And then you kind of just start to... Fold it on yeah. itself like that? Yeah. How many crimps do you I do? I do four. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's and pretty. Then... And you don't want to fill them too much because they'll explode. And then we'll we'll cook them right from frozen. Yeah, and you guys freeze them on a tray. Don't put them like in a Ziploc bag in your freezer or whatever. Freeze them on a tray first. Yeah, and when then they're you separated. Can... Because if you put them in a bag while they're not frozen, they'll stick together. While they're together. fresh, they'll stick together. Yeah, so freeze them on the tray. And then once they're frozen, put them in a bag. I mean, don't look as cute as his. Fourteen minutes. 
So our dumplings have come out of the oven and we used a, what is that? It's a called steam a coffee oven. steam oven. You could steam these in a steamer. You could- You uh, can pan fry them too. You could pan fry them. We're gonna make the sauce now. So how do we do that, Greg? So it's one part rice vinegar, one part soy sauce in there. Okay, so the scallions from before, he used the other end. The green part. The green part. So put some of that in there and some rice vinegar, tamari or soy. And you can add ginger to this as well. It's really good. And then you just take your dumpling. And you can put more soy sauce in the actual meat part as well. Just depends on how salty you like it. So. Mm -hmm. So good. Thank you, Gray. Thank you. These are awesome. Mm. And this is something fun to do as a family. And then you can have them in the freezer mm -hmm. and pop them in for dinner one night. Can you night. tell them how long we steam these things for? Mm -hmm. 13 minutes. We steam these for 13 minutes. That's yeah, even if they're uh, frozen, we do them 13 minutes. You can't stop eating them. Mm -mm. Oh, well, try it. Thank you, Ray. We oh. love them. Hope you enjoyed. Mm. Amazing. Mm. 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 So good.